Well, hello, everyone. My name is Brad Bollinger. I'm the publisher of the North Bay Business Journal, and welcome to our fifth annual Latino Business Leadership Awards. We are thrilled to be here, presented virtually, of course. I think we have a great program for you here today, but I wanted to just as an introductory to answer the question, so why we are here. We're here first because five years ago, our partner underwriter Wells Fargo came to us and asked us to develop a program to honor our Latino and Latina business leaders. And we didn't have to think very long because we know that they have been blazing paths of business success and leadership for years. And we needed a vehicle to recognize them and hopefully by doing so to inspire others. So we launched in 2016 and as of today, we have honored more than 60 leaders in our Latino communities selected by the Business Journal editorial staff from a public nomination process. Among the recipients have been Latino community pillars such as Carlos and Willie Tamayo, Vintner Amelia Ceja, whose daughter is one of our winners here today, Napa Supervisor Alfredo Pedroza, Herman Hernandez, the founder of Lo Cien, Marin County Latina leader Cecilia Zamora, and the late George Ortiz of the California Human Development Corporation, and of course, many, many others. We have no intention of letting up. And in fact, as more Latinos and Latinas start and grow businesses, and as others are promoted to higher and higher levels in our organizations and companies, we only see the need for these recognitions growing and growing and for these leaders to inspire our youth. Listen closely to the profiles you will hear uh, during this program, and you will hear the sounds of, yes, great things they have done, but even greater things to come. In my five years of association with these awards, I've read many, many incredible stories of people rising above great hardship to achieve their dreams. This year's recipients are particularly special, I think, at this moment that we're in. As I've said, at this moment where we need so much healing, healing of body, healing of mind and healing of the heart. These 13 recipients are leaders in this great healing because of them, we see the change in progress and they are going to lead the change. I just know it. Please join me in thanking our partners here today who make it possible for us to present this program free to attendees, free of charge. Our uh, winner sponsors, AUL, and Kaiser Permanente, our presenting sponsors, Exchange Bank and Redwood Credit Union. And a special thanks this year to the community organizations that helped us get the word out. The Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of Marin, the Latino Council of Marin, the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of Sonoma County, and LOCN. Thank you to all of them. And of course, the last but not least, our founding co-host, Wells Fargo. To give us a little welcome, uh, please welcome uh, Luis Garcia, Vice President and District Manager for the Redwood Empire Region for Wells Fargo to say a welcome. Hello, I'm Luis Garcia, District Manager for Wells Fargo, 101 Empire District, and I'm glad to be here with you all today. Wells Fargo has a long history of serving our North Bay communities, and we're proud to return as the underwriting sponsor of the North Bay Business Journal's Latino Business Leadership Award. We know this has been a difficult year for many of us due to the COVID-19 economic slowdown, as well as the wildfires in Northern California. To help people impacted by the fires this summer, we donated $200,000 to the American Red Cross and the California Fire Foundation so they can help people get back on their feet. To help small businesses during the economic slowdown, Wells Fargo announced this summer that we're using $400 million in fees generated from the PPP program to create the Open for Business Fund. Through this new initiative, we're providing support for nonprofits organizations that serve small businesses, particularly in minority owned small businesses. I wanna let you know that we're committed to serving our Latino businesses and we look forward to helping our local communities recover. Finally, and most importantly, I wanna congratulate the North Bay Latino business leaders who are being honored today. This is a special honor for me as a previous winner of the award in 2019. You're making a difference in our communities, and today we celebrate your outstanding achievements. Bien hecho. Thank you.
Well, well, thank you, Luis. And again, he was a 2019 winner of this award, and we want to thank again Wells Fargo for being our consistent underwriter. Uh, thank you, Lu Luis. And let's uh, here's how it will go. Uh, myself and two of our sponsors will be presenting uh, each individual's award. After we say something about them, each uh, of, we've invited our recipients to submit a short video answering the question, what is your message to the community right now? And I can tell you from having seen them, you're going to be inspired. And I highly encourage you to stay to the end as we conclude with one of the most moving messages I have heard. So here we go. It is my pleasure to present our first award to Dr. Jose Morales. It's a pediatrician with Kaiser Permanente in Santa Rosa. First of all, I have to tell you that Dr. Morales uh, graduated from Harvard Medical School. I always like to say that's the school you get into when you don't get into Chico State, right? So it, let me tell you a little bit about his story. He was born and raised in Miami, uh, Florida. Uh, his father was an immigrant from Puerto Rico and his mother uh, from the US. And going through the public school system, he said he had friends from all over the Caribbean and in Latin America. Every day, he said, I witnessed the American dream play out and seeing in a family's hard work uh, leading to opportunity and upward mobility. He graduated college in natural science. He lacked a clear goal for his career. So after traveling, working in South and Central America, he found himself longing uh, to get uh, back to his roots uh, that he would support underserved and the immigrant population. And with this in mind, he decided to become a physician. And I think we're all glad that he did. In January 2020, he was appointed by the Sonoma County Board of Supervisors as commissioner for first five in Sonoma County. He said, growing up in a traditional household, the men in my family worked long hours and were seldom involved in family life. With the wonderful support of my wife, who was also raised in this tradition, we have moved away from repeating this legacy and we've worked together to raise two amazing daughters and maintain close family ties. Biggest challenge today, it has been and continues to be advocating for those voice is not heard. It's, uh, he is the first uh, family, first in his family to become a physician. What advice would you give to a young person today? Make up your own mind and follow your dreams. And due to social media, where all of us are bombarded with other people's opinions, we are told what we should think. What's important is what has value. It takes courage and personal leadership to dig deeper for yourself. So please join me in congratulating Dr. Jose Morales. Thank you so much, North Bay Business Journal. This award is a true honor. And especially knowing the kind of leaders we have in our community, it's humbling. In my line of work, I see heroes every day. Young families, teenagers overcoming obstacle, and those who are looking for a better life for their children. One of the things that inspires me is seeing all this happen a lot of times without anybody knowing it. And that reminds me uh, of a story that's uh, about a hummingbird called, I will be a hummingbird. And basically it's, it's saying, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, those little steps matter. And so for those of you who are in our community doing something Maybe it's not noticed, maybe sometimes it's not recognized, and you're doing the best you can. It does matter, no matter how small your wings may be. Thank you, Doctor, for that inspiring message. And our next award goes to Dahlia Seha, who is the Sales and Marketing Director for Seha Vineyards uh, in Sonoma. Uh, she is the daughter of immigrant parents from Mexico. She's a fourth generation Mexican American. She identifies herself as both, um, both Mexican American and she says she speaks English, Spanish, and Spanglish. Uh, her uh, first, her family had to overcome challenges, broke barriers, and beat the odds to go from vineyard workers, farm workers picking the grapes during the harvest time, to vineyard owners, to eventually winery owners in less than 50 years. This is my definition of the American dream, she said. As a Latina millennial, she wants to use her voice as a platform to inspire other women for all over the world. And on June 10th, 2020, uh, she and her husband, Chase, 
uh, welcomed their beautiful daughter, Luna Isabella Seha Svetelson. She is a strong fourth generation Seha Latina born during a global pandemic. Our family is blessed now that four months old, she is healthy and thriving. This marks the 10th anniversary of the Mexican American Vintners Association. This is her proudest achievement. And as a winery member youth advocating, uh, they celebrate wines produced by Latino vintners, uh, providing educational scholarships to Latino youth and advocating for quality standards. Please join me in congratulating Dahlia Seha. Hola, my name is Dalia Seja. I'm sales and marketing director at Seja Vineyards Winery in Napa and Sonoma Valley. I'm honored and grateful to be the recipient of the North Bay Business Journal's 2020 Latino Business Leadership Award. Muchas, muchas gracias. This has been a very challenging year due to the global pandemic and the wildfires. However, this is also the year that I became a mom for the first time to my beautiful daughter, Luna Isabella Seja Swedelson. And to me, she represents hope. And I would like to raise a glass to a brighter and more resilient future. Salud. Well, congratulations to you and to the entire Seja family. Our next recipient is Salvador Cruz, who's the founder of Fruta All Natural Ice Cream. It's here in Santa Rosa. He has 43 employees. Wow. Uh, Fruta's uh, founder, Salvador, was born and raised in Mexico. And growing up, he always loved the taste of the local ice cream flavors on almost every corner. All the exotic fruits and flavors he tasted as a child have molded his business today. And after 20 years of working in the cabinetry business, the recession hit hard in 2009. He decided it was time to try something else something that he enjoys every day, something that puts smiles on people's faces and it's especially exciting for children. And since starting uh, Fruta, uh, he has continued to improve the product into uh, what you taste in our stores today, fresh, high quality ice cream. And since 2010, Fruta now has four locations in Sonoma County. Uh, and after two successful years at their Stony Point store, they opened a second location in Petaluma. He's most proud of this business and his children. Being an immigrant with only a high school education and being able to start, this makes me very proud. You should be. I'm also very proud of being able to provide a great life for my kids and send them to college. I'm a very proud to own a business in the Santa Rosa community. Uh, there is a very strong and hardworking Latino community in Sonoma County and Santa Rosa, and it is very gratifying to be in their neighborhood ice cream shop. I think what makes me most proud of this community is just the unity and kindness. Everyone seems to support everyone. Words that describe him, workaholic, resilient, perfectionist, stubborn, and old school, compassionate, and those words were written by his kids. Uh, he says he tries to keep fruit involved in the community. They uh, host and dine for local elementary schools and donate tons of fruit and vegetables to local organizations. And they also donate coolers full of peletas to local churches and organizations throughout the county. Congratulations, Salvador Cruz. Next, I would like uh, to invite Dorothy Rodella, who's the VP and Regional Sales Manager of Exchange Bank to present the next three awards. Welcome to Dorothy. She is a 2019 recipient of this award. Take it away, Dorothy. Hello, my name is Dorothy Rodella. It gives me great pleasure and an honor to introduce Evelyn Vedagon. Evelyn, is the administrative manager for Stony Point Rock Quarry, a Soylent Company. Evelyn makes her home in Sonoma County with her daughter and originally came from Mexico City. Words to describe Evelyn include honest, passionate, objective, and 
a perfectionist. Some words that she offers to young people, including her daughter, in part include, remember that every decision you make will have a positive or negative, negative effect in your life and will shape who you are. Please join me, join me in congratulating Evelyn Bedagon. Our community is facing difficult times and it's forcing us to adapt to changes that we were not anticipating. Be brave, don't be afraid, make the best of it. Approach your community and be involved. And join me in congratulating Gabriela Leroy in this honor and award. Gabriela is a second generation Latina, having been born and raised in El Paso, Texas. 11 years ago, she landed in beautiful Sonoma County and today is the first Latina executive uh, for Santa Rosa Community Health, where she serves as the chief of operations. Gabriela has a degree in social work, a master's degree in social work, and takes great pride in her five-year-old son and distance learning, which is a challenge for all working mothers. Two words to describe Gabriela are brave and kind. Please join me in congratulating Gabriela. Gives me a great honor to introduce and congratulate Veronica Rincon. Veronica is the branch manager of the Exchange Bank Stony Point branch. She makes her home in Santa Rosa with her husband and three children. She serves on the board of the living room, which is a drop-in women's shelter, and is most proud of being a mother. Um, three words to describe Veronica are faithful, empathetic, and dedicated. Please join me in congratulating Veronica Rincon. Hi, I'm Veronica Rincon with Exchange Bank. The message I'd like to share today is something that I learned years ago. We do not know the struggles a person is going through, especially today when so many in our community have been affected by COVID and the fires. It's important to remember that a small act of kindness goes a long way. So today, be the light in someone's day. Well, thank you, Dorothy, and congratulations to Evelyn, Gabriella, and Veronica. Really great messages you had uh, to give to our audience here today. It's now my pleasure to present the next award to Mariana Gomez Almaraz, the business advisor with the Napa Sonoma SBDC, that's a small business development center here in Santa Rosa. She's been part of the SBDC since 2016. Uh, she wanted to join this organization because she saw that Latino owned businesses were not being advised on how to properly run a business. And she wanted to offer workshops and trainings in Spanish because they were not offered through the SBDC at that time. Although there have been many successful uh, Latino owned businesses, there were no other types of organizations that guided entrepreneurs on the correct path. Her biggest accomplishment was completing her certification to officially receive her Bachelor of Science in uh, Business Administration from the University of Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Uh, she graduated in 1997, but had not completed her certification. And more recently, she uh, got established in the United States, uh, had children, got married and had children, and had the idea of going back to Mexico uh, and starting, a, not going back to Mexico and starting a career in the US. She studied ESL, QuickBooks and math because she was passionate about it. In 2019, she completed that certification process 22 years after. And she is proud of implementing these resources and trainings for businesses, record keeping, marketing, next level food handler certification, safety manager certification and, and many others. And in 2020, she became a partnership with two others to create the Latin X hub to provide one stop uh, place to connect the community, especially uh, sp specifically the Latino community. The biggest challenge she is currently facing is the very first all Spanish next level eight week course for entrepreneurs put on by the SBDC. Please join me in congratulating Mariana Gomez Almaraz. Congratulations. I would like to invite the Hispanic business community to be resilient through these tough times we're all experiencing. 
I encourage you to explore all the assistance opportunities that the Napa Sonoma SBDC has to offer to help your business tackle the current crisis. I also want to invite you to reach out to every organization that is creating programs to support businesses. Well, congratulations to you once again. Our next recipient is Elizabeth Gutierrez, a financial planning and analysis leader with AUL Corporation. Sorry, I struggled with your name over in Napa. AUL is a leader in the used car warranty industry. She wanted to tell her story. When she was 11 years old, her father sat her down and proceeded to tell her that he expected me to study and learn English so that one day I would have a better life than he and his mother did. This conversation shaped how I dedicated myself to study. I spent most of my young uh, life, uh, working life, uh, at working and attending night classes at the local community college. And during those years, she earned multiple undergraduate degrees and was on the Dean's honor list. And when the time came to transfer to a four-year university, AUL Corporation stepped up to cover the tuition and cost. And she was able to uh, reach her dream of completing a bachelor's degree. And in 2013, her hard work and dedication paid off because she became the first uh, person in her family to graduate from college. And then finally, uh, more recently, uh, she has, in August of 2019, her four-year-old son cheered from the stand as she walked off the stage to receive her master's degree uh, in a master's degree. So congratulations to that for that. Uh, asked what she is most proud of. She said, I am proud that the Latino business community is being acknowledged. I believe the Latino business community's greatest challenge is they face the lack of positive Latino role models. She asked what her, her first mentor was, was her father, and her second was uh, Luis Nieves of AUL Corporation, and he believed in me and taught her to be humble. And tell us about her community involvement. She's been involved in several projects to give back. Some of the causes include uh, assembling 10,000 food packages, helped raise over $37,000 for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and 98,000 for Napa Humane. There is so much more to do. And we know Elizabeth Gutierrez, congratulations. My message for my community during these hard times is to stop the spread of COVID-19. Wear a mask whenever possible. Do it for your loved ones. Sorry, what a great message that she had. We need, to, we're not through this yet, so we all need to follow what our, our health professionals are telling us to do, so please. Lucy Hernandez is our next recipient. She is the CEO of Lucy Hernandez Consulting and Principal Strategist and Trainer of the Lucy Hernandez Consulting Firm. And what a whirlwind she is and all the things that she does, let me tell you just a little bit about it. She has a BA in social science from CSU Chico and a master's in business administration from Sonoma State University. She was a teen mother facing homelessness and was served by a local community agency and her caseworker provided her the services that she need for food, housing and childcare so she could continue to attend in college. She lost her child during this time uh, and an agency helped get her back on her feet and her daughter back. And at this moment, she knew that she wanted to do this kind of work to help others like herself with key services to help them get back on their feet. And she spent over 22 years in social services and community-based staff and was promoted to director for small and large organizations. And in 2016, she launched her own firm. Congratulations. She was recognized as the Latino Entrepreneur of the Year by the California Hispanic Chambers of Commerce, and she was the recipient of Congressman Mike Thompson's business uh, congressional recognition for her business work in the community. She works all over uh, California. She has, uh, in, and for attaining her master's degree from Sonoma State University in the last year. 
And her client, she's at 10 counties, agencies to 22 uh, counties, and a client list in the last 12 months that has allowed her to reach the $1 million goal in the fifth anniversary of her business. She is proud to see uh, our Latino professionals obtaining their degrees and taking the step toward executive level, level positions where they can have impact. What advice would you give to a young person today? Get ready for the ride and enjoy every milestone. And then what lessons have we learned in this difficult year? She said, life is unpredictable. However, aligning your business purpose to your core beliefs is critical and long lasting. Congratulations. To Lucy Hernandez. Welcome. This is Lucy Hernandez from Lucy Hernandez Consulting. And I have to say, during these uncertain times, we are navigating through uncharted waters, a time that we have not experienced before. But one thing that is for sure is that our call to action is now. This is the time to explore new opportunities to help others, to be involved, and to ensure that we can instill hope in our community. Being able to check on your neighbor, being able to check on a friend, being able to check on a stranger and have a conversation may be actually bringing joy to a person that may have no connection or no support system. Our call to action now is to look at different ways of connecting with others. We are a resilient community, but we need each other and we need to hold hands regardless of our background and what differentiates us. Because at the end, we're all human and we all want the same for our families. And that is safety, health and prosperity. And we can only reach it as a unified voice and community. So thank you for your contributions. And remember, we all can make a difference. And I hope the best for you for the remainder of our year and as we go into our new era of 2021. Thank you. Well, thank you, Lucy, and congratulations. What a great message. So, and you should really building her business with her heart. Congratulations again. Our next recipient is Hugo Mata, who's the principal and owner of Saluna Outreach Solutions here in Santa Rosa. Uh, he has been a resident of Sonoma County for over 30 years and originally he was from the state of Jalisco, Mexico before he immigrated to California. And being bilingual and bicultural provides a great asset when communicating with the Latino community and living in California and the United States. He established Saluna Outreach Solutions in 2017, a bilingual environmental consulting business to establish uh, and expand education and outreach across the Spanish speaking community with a primary focus on conservation, sanitation, and health. Uh, Saluna supports uh, Latinx communities and Latinx serving companies in 20 counties. And while building his business, he launched a Facebook series, The Power of Knowledge, providing technical support to Latinx owned small businesses. This series has over 2000 followers uh, in the Spanish speaking community. Is there any major accomplishment in the last year he would like to mention he in the past few months he collaborated with some others in on this program actually uh, to perform the red Latinx hub which is a physical space which provides resources such as conference room meetings uh, short term office space and guidance for business practices voting information environmental program referrals to health services and much much more. Uh, he said other challenges during this particular time to the Latino community is include the lack of diversity and representation in local government positions and other local organizations. And although Latinos represent the largest minority group in Sonoma County, it is most disproportionately impacted by the lack of affordable housing and access to health care and information. Absolutely. We need to do better on all of those fronts. The biggest obstacle he faced uh, coming along was the, he had to, in navigating the educational system, there were instances where people uh, told, me, told him to guide him, and, and they discouraged him from pursuing higher education. And he said, because of his accent, I was told to pursue a vocational career. It's the easiest thing to do. I ended up doing my own research and attended the university I wanted to, and the rest is history. What advice would you give to a young person today Stop texting, texting and explore the real world. 
There is so much you are missing. Find your passion. Volunteer for one of the organizations that closely resembles your passion. Learn as much as you can. Practice those learnings and then teach others. You will be surprised at what you can do. And his most admired business person is Bill Gates. Congratulations to Hugo Mata. Hi, uh, my name is Hugo Mata. I'm the principal and CEO for Soluna Outreach Solutions. We are a small uh, environmental agency located here in Sonoma County. Thank you to the Business Journal for the opportunity and for the award. And my message to you is that we are still in the middle of a pandemic. Um, we face two fires. So we really need to stay together. We're a very strong community. We are a very resilient community. We, but we are not out of the woods yet. So we need, uh, we need to continue to wear the mask. We need to continue to uh, practice social distancing. And at the same time, we need to avoid those places where there's huge conglomerations of people. If we wanna flatten the curve, we really need to be smart about it. So uh, thank you so much again to the Business Journal. And um, I encourage you to follow protocol and do whatever we can to keep our community healthy and safe. Thanks. Well, thank you, Hugo, and congratulations. And next, I'd like to introduce uh, one of our uh, original winners of this award in 2016, and that is Redwood Credit Union President and CEO, Brett Martinez, to present the next award. Welcome, Brett. Hi, I'm Brett Martinez, President and CEO of Redwood Credit Union. And I'm proud to celebrate Alma Magallon, for earning a North Bay Business Journal Latino Business Leadership Award. At Redwood Credit Union and in the community, Alma is making a positive difference and paving the way for others. She has long played a leadership role in her community, including various clubs in high school. And before joining RCU, Alma majored in criminal justice, where she came to better understand the needs of our community. Today, she uses this knowledge as well as her strong financial services skill set to help improve people's lives every single day. Alma is part of the leadership team that educates our members about the benefits and services available to them so they can get access to resources, save money, and take meaningful steps toward their financial goals and dreams. This passion for service carries over to Alma's commitment to the community as well. For example, as the Vice President of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Alma has been instrumental in helping business owners have up-to-date access to COVID-related county requirements so that they can keep their doors open. Additionally, as a core team member of the St. Joseph's Community Building Initiatives Program, Alma is helping establish needed services in the Santa Rosa South Park neighborhood. And it should be noted that Alma is doing all of this while being there for her family and her two young children, which is pretty amazing stuff on its own. For all those reasons and many more, Alma is well deserving of this recognition. And Alma, on behalf of all of us at Redwood Credit Union, congratulations to you. Very well deserved. I know that as business owners, you're going through a difficult time right now. But what I also know is that you still have the courage, the determination, and the resilience that you had when you first opened your business. And I wanna remind you to hold on to that and to not be afraid to pivot your business model and to get creative. And most importantly, to not be afraid to ask for help. It has been an honor to work alongside you as we continue to push forward. And we remind our community on the importance of supporting our local businesses. Y recuerden, la unión hace la fuerza. And remember, Unity makes strength. Thank you. Well, thank you, Brett, and congrat congratulations to Alma. So I'm going to present the final two awards. I encourage you to stay with us. We've got a couple of great messages here from our recipients. And the, the next uh, recipient of the 2020 Latino Business Leadership Awards goes to Augustin Ponce. He's Director of Operations for Rack and Riddle Custom Wine Services in Healdsburg. Asked uh, what he's most proud of achieving in the Latino community or what his biggest challenge is. The biggest challenge is being able to open doors for opportunities. We need to prove ourselves 
more than others and work harder. But once given a chance, it amazes me how far and how much we can, we can accomplish. Words that best describe you. I'm an honest person. I always waste my, my opinion. I take my job very seriously. I am responsible and reliable. I'm a family oriented man and a man of faith. I think it is important to help others and to teach others to grow and learn. His biggest obstacle was to learn uh, the language and learn how to express himself with others. He took night classes at the local junior college to learn English and eventually felt comfortable enough with the language. He was asked, where is it gonna be in the next five years? He says, Rack and Riddle is my home. I do not see myself anywhere else, but growing and adapting with the company. Uh, a little bit about his community involvement. They're very involved with the local church and community. And with, uh, he helps with planning and fundraisers and his wife along, he and his wife along with other couples from the community give classes for marital and premarital counseling. He says it's important to help the community in any way to try to keep families together. Uh, what a word of advice would you give a young person today to work hard and keep aiming big. No dream is too big, he said, or unattainable if you work smart and work harder. The person he most wanted to meet would, uh, is the Pope, his um, most admired business person outside of the organization that where he works is Carlos Slim. And his favorite hobby, hobbies, he said, I enjoy watching sports and barbecuing on the weekends with my family. In the last year, he's also had the privilege to take care and spend time with his 95-year-old father. How very special. Congratulations to Augustine Ponce. Okay, the message from our community is to work uh, on this uh, pandemic, uh, stay with this uh, wearing mask, stay six feet away from each other, uh, can, uh, have faith that all this is going to finish, and um, do the best for you and for your family. What a great message from Augustine to have faith and take care of your family. So it's now my pleasure to present the final award to Aaron Alarcon Bowen. He is the executive director of in-home support services for the public authority of Marin. He said he originally came uh, to this country from Mexico at the age of 18 when he started college at the University of Texas at El Paso. He is currently working on finishing his PhD in public policy at Walden University. He said the pandemic has been challenging for everyone and as the leader of an agency uh, that provides essential services, he was deeply concerned that migrating to offer some of the services from a virtual platform was going to interfere with the effectiveness of their service and delivery, which by the way, they. They um, help low-income older adults and individuals with disabilities. He was surprised, he said, that they did not only continue to fulfilling the mission successfully, doing things virtually and remotely, but also they were able to expand and improve services, meeting the challenging needs of their population. His achievement he's most proud of that during the pandemic, start an on-call emergency in-home care services to recipients that lost their caregiver unexpectedly. Achievement he's most proud of, and many, he says, but I'm particularly proud of not giving up during the years when I was an undocumented person. I lost my legal status right after college, and this is the case for many people. He's, he said the uncertainty was crippling, yet he never allowed it to undermine his uh, desire to make a difference in the community. What a great message. As a su successful professional, what were the obstacles you faced and how did you overcome them? Uh, one obstacle, he said, has been dealing uh, with that voice in my head uh, known as the saboteur that constantly tries to feed me negativity, always assuming that the worst is going to happen. The way I don't let this voice take over is through meditation and mindfulness. The most important mentor and longtime friend is Mark Bradford. Mark is an artist, and he, they came from broken families and from chaos. They both believed in themselves and did not let their surrounding initial circumstances dictate their dreams and ambitions. And Mark has been a constant positive influence in his life for years, even before he became the very famous author, he, uh, excuse me, artist that he is right now. What advice would he give to a young person? 
education is the best investment that you can do on yourself. It is the one of the only things that cannot be taken away from you. So please join me in congratulating Aaron Alarcon Bowen. Listen to his talk, it's terrific. My name is Aaron Alarcon Bowen, and I'm the executive director of the In-Home Support Services Public Authority of Marin, an independent government agency that provides in-home care to low-income older adults and individuals with disabilities. I'm also one of the recipients of the 2020 Latino Business Leadership Award. I want to start by saying thank you to the North Bay Business Journal for this great honor. Allow me please to dedicate this award to the hundreds, if not thousands of people that have been touched by my active commitment to make this world a better place. We are living difficult times, that is undeniable. In the midst of excessive misinformation, half-truths and fake news, we all can agree on something, even if it sounds cliche. When we are going through trials and tribulations, we usually have two options. Either we allow these circumstances to bring us down or we use them as motivators to make us stronger, wiser, more compassionate and with more empathy. We have experienced unprecedented challenges. And even though at times we all have felt like giving up, there is something in all of us that encourages us to keep going. A few hundred years ago, Leonardo da Vinci said, he turns not back who is bound to a star. This is the message that I'm bringing today. Even if the circumstances around us offer no hope, we must remember who we are. We must remember the journey that brought us here and we must trust that just in the same manner that we overcame past misfortunes, we will emerge victorious. Now, it is possible that things will get worse before they get better, but we need to remember that the darkest moment in the night happens precisely right before the dawn. Don't give up. As long as we have life, there is hope. Take a break, reach out to others, do whatever is needed to take care of yourself. But once you are recharged, join me and millions of others in our country and our world to end injustice, oppression, and inequality. I believe in you because I know I know that you are bound to a star. Wow, well, what a message from Aaron. Uh, we were happy to, to show it. So congratulations again to all of our winners. Can we give them all a round of applause? So, so yeah, maybe our technical people has the applause meter going. Well, there we go. Okay, I'd much rather have it in person, but that's, we, that's the next closest thing we can do. Well, I, again, thank you so much to all of you for being with us and our, our supporters here today. Our winner sponsors, AUL Corporation, Kaiser Permanente, presenting sponsors, Exchange Bank and Redwood Credit Union. And a special thanks again to Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of Marin, the Latino Council of Marin, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of uh, Sonoma County and Los Cien, and our founding co-host here today and underwriter, uh, Wells Fargo. If you know any people with these organizations, send them an email, something, uh, uh, call them and thank them for making this uh, available to, free to our attendees here. I just wanna say in closing that the, the Business Journal and pre previous to that, the Press Democrat where I was has been supporting uh, the efforts in our Latino business community since 1990. I can go all the way back to the, 
I think the first uh, Hispanic uh, Chamber uh, uh, Scholarship Awards at the Los Robles Lodge, which of course is no longer there uh, here in Santa Rosa, giving away scholarships uh, for young Latinos and Latinas to go to college. And here we are today with an event like this, all of the great things that are happening in our business community and our organization, things like Roseland University Prep and the L.C. Allen Foundation. So many good things are happening. We're gonna be there to support you every step of the way. So once again, congratulations to our recipients. Uh, all of you remember to nominate in 2021 because we will be back for our sixth annual awards. Thank you for uh, your patience on our little bit of technical difficulties here today, but I think you'll agree it was worth waiting for. Congratulations, and thank you again for being with us here today. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.